Balloons for Papa, A Story of Hope and Empathy, written by Elizabeth Gilbert Badia and illustrated by Erica Meza. One gray morning, Arthur walked hand in hand with his papa through the park, past cellar after cellar, until he came to his favorite one. Arthur wanted a balloon. Ever since Mama went to the hospital, Papa had lost his smile. Sometimes Arthur did too, but balloons made Arthur smile. Today, Papa, please, the sunny yellow one, Mama loves yellow. Sadness filled Papa's eyes. No, Arthur, we need to hurry. Besides, the blustery clouds will whisk it away. Arthur gazed up. The clouds let out a gloomy sigh. So did Papa, and so did Arthur. The next day, Arthur hurried with his Papa through the park. Today, Papa? asked Arthur. The bright red ones like the bird in the tree? Not today, Arthur. We're going to be late. Besides, it's not a day for balloons. Arthur scowled at the sky. The clouds drooped, as did Papa and Arthur. The following day, Arthur was afraid to look. Raindrops plip plopped on his nose. Arthur plodded behind his papa as the rain fell. Splish, splash, splosh. No balloons today, thought Arthur. Then Arthur saw the brilliant bundle waving at him. He spotted the perfect balloon. Can I have the bright blue one like the splishy, splashy puddles? Please, Papa, it's your favorite color. A glimmer appeared in Papa's eyes, but it disappeared just as quickly. No, Arthur. Papa hurried on to visit Mama as the rain fell faster and faster. Drip, drop, drip, drip, drop, drip, drip, drop, drip. Arthur knew it wasn't his fault, but he still wondered, why is Papa being this way? His tears fell as fast as the rain. The clouds burst open with a downpour. Arthur gazed up at them. Are you sad too? That night, Arthur dreamed of a bundle of balloons and Mama smiling back at him. But then the clouds covered them all. Arthur awoke more determined than ever. He dashed down the stairs and out the door, then stopped. To his surprise... A bundle of balloons was stuck in the tree right outside the house. Look, Papa, look, the balloons. I wonder how they got here, Papa said. Papa helped Arthur up to the balloons. Arthur held the strings tightly in one hand and held out his other hand. To Papa, at that moment, Arthur realized what he really wanted. Arthur, I thought you wanted the balloons said Papa. I thought I did too, said Arthur. But balloons always make me smile. I hope they bring your smile back, said Arthur. And Mama's too. For the first time in a long time, Papa beamed. Oh, Arthur, look, you found my smile. Then Arthur smiled too. Hurry, Papa. Mama's waiting for us.